Did you know that the vertical relationships between the objects in a panoramic radiograph is unreliable? Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out why. Hi there, I'm Farida. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to the Dental Radiology. We know that in a panoramic machine, the tube and the detector go around to the patient and the x-ray tube or source is in the back. The orientation of the panoramic x-ray beam has a slight quadricranial inclination. So it means that the x-ray has a negative angulation from down to up. So, so why do we have a quadricranial inclination in the panoramic radiograph? Because the teeth and jaws are very important in this radiography. And if we have a right angle tube, the x-ray would be absorbed by the skull base that is the occipital bone and it's a very dense bone. So the x-ray will well, be see absorbed what and we won't These have a good view of the teeth and the jaws. In different buccolingual position. As a result of this x-ray beam cardiocranial angulation, structures that are positioned closer to the source or the x-ray tube are projected higher up on the image relative to the structures that are positioned far away from the source of the radiation. Let's see this example on the mandibular molar and three different positions of the mandibular canal. So this schematic view represents a coronal cross-section through the mandible. Three potential locations of the mandibular canal are shown. All three positions lie in the same horizontal plane but different in buccal lingual position. Owing to the angulation of the X-ray beam, the image of the linguali position canal, that is in orange, is projected closer to the apex of the molar, whereas the image of the buccally position canal, that is in green, is projected farther away from the root apex. Thus, the distance between the root apex and the mandibular canal can be misrepresented on a panoramic radiograph. So, the relationships between the objects and the vertical dimension may not accurately represent true anatomic relationships. So, the assessment of vertical relationships in a panoramic radiograph is unreliable and it's important for assessing the relation between the mandibular canal and the third molar especially when it's impacted the thing is even after watching this and learning this tip i've just thought that you still have a big problem and that means you still need more information about the relation between the mandibular canal and the third molar so for getting this information you can watch this video right here, so make sure you watch it next to get the result you want. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Keep smiling and have an awesome day.